A welcome back to Virginia this morning. The United States Census Bureau is continuing to count every person living in the country for the 2020 census. Now, we did share this next segment earlier in the summer, but the deadline to fill out the census and get it returned to be, uh, be counted is fast approaching. So we wanted to re-air it for you today. The U.S. Census is underway, and it's critical that you submit your response if you've not done so already. I'm here with Michael Cook, Chief of the Public Information Office at the U.S. Census Bureau for an update on its current progress. Hi, Michael. Hi, thanks for having me. I appreciate the opportunity to let you and the Richmond listeners, the surrounding area, know that it's not too late to respond to the 2020 Census. You can go to 2020census.gov and do that right now today. Yes, and this is so important. So we've been hearing about the census for a few months now. Some may have completed it, but others may not have gotten around to it yet. So tell us why completing this year's census is more important than ever. Well, you know, the census is about power and it's about money. It's about your political representation in the, in the Congress. Um, the seats in the House of Representatives are a portion. All 435 seats are divided upon, uh, up equally amongst all the states based on us counting everyone once, only once, and in the right place. But moreover, this current situation with the pandemic, COVID-19, underscores the need for accurate census data. As many people know, there's billions of dollars. Some have actually estimated $1.5 trillion in federal funds that flows down to the local level based on an accurate and complete count for things like schools, roads, healthcare, whether it's Medicare, Medicaid, um, SNAP benefits. Um, when you talk about kids and schools, you know, decision makers des decide where to invest and where to put federal dollars based upon a complete and accurate count. So it only takes a couple minutes to respond, but if you don't respond, your community, Richmond, Virginia, will miss out on 10 years of federal funds that they should have for their constituents and for uh, the residents that live in that population. So it's, it's very, very, very important. I can say I have completed mine. It only took a few minutes and you're right. It is so incredibly important. What we're seeing, and I know you have some new statistics, is that Virginia is above average as far as the overall response rate. But when we dive in and really look at the individual cities, we're finding that some cities, including Richmond, are below average with that response rate. So tell us about these new statistics and why we think that's the case. That's true. We have a response rate map that's on 2020census.gov. All you have to do is access the website, click on get the facts, and then toggle down to response rates. You'll see that at the national rate, our self-response rate is 62%. That means 62% of the households across the nation have self-responded either on phone, by mail, or going and logging online to 2020census.gov and responding now. If you look at Virginia, the whole state of Virginia, they're besting uh, the national average at 67%, while uh, Richmond, Virginia is below that 10 percentage points, right at 57%. Um, when you ask why don't people respond or why they're lagging behind, we know that oftentimes it's about people not understanding the benefit of responding, the fact that it's easy. It only takes a couple of minutes. It's safe. The information that we collect is covered by Title 13. I take an oath for life. Everybody working the Census Bureau takes an oath for life not to divulge the personal identifiable information about you for the, for the duration of our lives. The information that we collect is only collected for statistical purposes and it can't be provided or given to any enforcement agency. Other federal agencies is only used for statistics. But last and most important, the census is important. It's about power and it's about money. Your political representation and those invaluable uh, tangible things that come down to the community every decade based upon a complete and accurate count. So I think when people know better, they tend to do better. So we, I encourage people to go to 2020census.gov not only to respond, but to get the facts and to see for themselves why it is so important to respond to the 2020 census. And I can't say enough about all of the partners there in Richmond, Virginia, helping us get out the, the, the word that it's easy and it's safe and important and that Richmond is doing a good job but you can do better and we want you to especially do it now because starting August 11th, if you haven't responded, we're gonna start sending census takers out to homes to get those homes that haven't responded to respond to the 2020 census. 
Well, I was just about to ask you about how things may have changed in the collection of this census data, given the health and safety concerns that we've been having in the midst of this pandemic. So if there are people who need assistance in filling out this information, it sounds like you'll be having people going door to door. Are there other ways other than going to the website? Yes, if you don't wanna to go to the website, um, we have the telephone numbers that you can access. If you go to 2020census.gov, there's 13 different languages that are supported. Uh, for some of the uh, people in your listening audience who don't get their address or their mail at home, they get it via PO Box. In our initial invitation to respond, we mail the questionnaire to them so they can actually use snail mail. They can mail back that questionnaire if they like. But also, um, we've taken it a step further. Knowing that everybody in this digital age doesn't have access to internet, we have what we call mobile questionnaire assistance centers. So we're actually visiting shopping centers and other places where people congregate and setting up kiosks, setting up tables and asking people if they have responded to the census. And if not, we have people there that can assist them and guide them to the website so that they can respond. And I know that the invitations to respond went out earlier in March and sometime, uh, some months later, we kept sending reminders to people. And you might've lost it and you say, well, I knew there was a census ID and I lost it and it's too late. It's gone. It's never too late. It's never too late. Please log on to 2020census.gov and you can fill out your questionnaire based on the address where you live. All you need to know is where you lived on April 1st, 2020, and you can complete the census form, the questionnaire today. Well, thank you so much. This is important information. It's easily accepted in many different ways, as you have mentioned, and we are excited to assist our viewers in making sure that Richmond is above average on those response rates going forward. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thanks for having me and stay safe. For those of you who are interested in more information about the U.S. Census and getting your response in as soon as possible, we'll be posting a link on our website at WTBR.com slash VTM.